Blessed day everyone. Welcome to my channel, Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ophelia Orate, a principal owner of a school and a tutorial center, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. Today's lesson is Operations on Functions. But I will start with Functional Notation. So, let's start. F of X is simply the Y that you have learned in your previous algebra. So when we say y equals x plus 2, then we're referring to f of x. So if you're asked to find f of 1, all you have to do is to simply substitute 1 to x. So f of x, your x is 1. So your f of x is x plus 2. It becomes 1 plus 2. So f of 1 is simply 3. Yeah. Very easy, isn't it? Next f of negative 2 so f of x so x is negative 2 substitute negative 2 here so you'll have negative 2 half e plus 2 negative 2 plus 2 is 0 so if you're asked to find f of square root of 3 this is f of x simply make x square root of 3 substitute square root of 3 here you have square root of 3 plus 2 can you still add this? Not anymore. This is already simplified. So this is your final answer because they are unlike numbers or unlike terms. Next, number four. What if you're asked to find f of negative a? Simply substitute negative a to x. This becomes negative a plus copy 2, negative a plus 2 is the final answer. What about f of 2b? So simple, x becomes 2b, so here, this x here is now 2b plus 2. There. Then you still simplify this, not anymore. So this is your final answer. What is f of x squared? Then you take the negative there. Now this means, when you have a negative here, this means that you have negative 1 times f of x squared. So this is negative 1 times, what is f of x squared? Make x, x squared plus 2. Put a parenthesis because this whole thing is now f of x squared. There, we simply make x here, x squared, then copy 2, but there's a negative 1 there. So now you distribute negative 1 times x squared is negative x squared. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Final answer. Number 7, what is 3? f of x. This means that you are multiplying 3 times f of x. So, 3 times f of x here is x plus 2. So, very easy. Distribute. 3 times x is 3x plus 3 times 2 is 6. Now, let's proceed to f of x plus g of x. Let's continue with operations and functions. These are the Definitions, f plus g of x is simply f of x plus g of x. Just add a corresponding functions. f minus g of x is just f of x minus g of x. f times g of x is simply f of x times g of x. So you just multiply them. f over g of x is f of x all over g of x. Of course, g of x cannot be zero. Why? If the denominator is 0, it is undefined. So g of x or the denominator can never be 0. Let us have some examples. Before we proceed with the examples, let's also have tackle composition of functions, which is f of g is equal to f of the g of x. There. Well, others uh, write this as f of 
G and then of X there, but others just write F of G. It depends on your teacher. Okay, let's have an example. For example, F of X is equal to X plus 1 and G of X is equal to 1 minus X squared. What is F plus G of X? As per definition, this is F of X plus G of X. There. So, substitute the value of F of X. This is F of X here is X plus 1 plus G of X here is 1 minus X squared. Combine like terms. So, we have here negative X squared, which is this, plus X plus 1 plus 1 is 2. So, is there still anything which can be combined here? Nothing. So, this is our final answer. Next, F minus G of X is simply F of X minus G of X. So, plug in the values. F of X is X plus 1. Substitute here X plus 1. Minus G of X, which is 1 minus X squared. There, G of X is 1 minus X squared. Distribute here, negative 1 plus X squared. Combine like terms, so you will have here X squared, which is this, plus X. Well, what do you see here? 1 minus 1 is 0, so this is already our final answer. Let's move on to problem number 10. F times G of X, as per definition here, is just F of X times G of X. So you just multiply them. F of X is, F of X is here, X plus 1 times G of X is 1 minus X squared. Then multiply them. So X times 1 is X. X times negative X squared is negative X cubed. 1 times 1 is positive 1. 1 minus x squared is negative x squared. Combine like terms. What do we have here? We have negative x cubed, which is this, minus x squared, and then plus x plus 1. Oh, there. Is there still anything which we can combine here? We don't have like terms, so that is our final answer. F over G of X is, by definition here, F of X over G of X. So we have here F of X over G of X. So simply divide them. F of X is X plus 1 over G of X is 1 minus X squared. Can we still simplify this? Yes. Yes, because 1 minus x squared is factorable. So you factor it, you have here x plus 1 all over the factors of 1 minus x squared are 1 plus x and 1 minus x. Because this is a difference of two squares. And you can see that you can now cancel x plus 1 and 1 plus x. Do you think I am correct? Is x plus 1 equal to 1 plus x? Yes. By commutative property, you can cancel them. So obviously, you get 1 here and 1 here. So our final answer here is 1 all over 1 minus x. This is our final answer. Composition functions. f of g of x is, by definition here, it is simply f of g of x there. So you have here f of g of x is 
1 minus x squared. So here we make all the x's of x plus 1 become 1 minus x squared. So x here becomes 1 minus x squared. Did you get that? x here is now 1 minus x squared plus 1. There, simplify. 1 plus 1 is 2 minus x squared. There. What about g of f of x? g of f of x. For g of f of x, by definition, is now g of f of x. There. Now, let's substitute the value f of x here. f of x again is x plus 1. So this becomes g of f of x, which is x plus 1. So what is now g of x plus 1? Change all the x here with x plus 1. So you're going to have here 1 minus your x is now x plus 1 squared. There. You retain 1 and then the x here becomes x plus 1 squared. Simplify. So you get 1 minus, what's x plus 1, 1 it is squared. Square the first term, multiply the first and the second term. 1x times 2 is 2x plus square of the second term. Simplify it, so you have 1 minus x squared minus 2x minus 1. Combine like terms. So we have here x squared or negative x squared minus 2x, which is this. 1 minus 1 is 0. So you don't have to, to write that. So you have the final answer, negative x squared minus 2x. Now, what about f of f of 2? Let me erase this first. f of f of 2 is simply f of f of 2. Now, what is f of 2? So we have here f of, f of 2 is simply 2 plus 1. It's simply 2 plus 1 or f of 3. Did you get that? f of 2 chains x to 2 plus 1. That is 2 plus 1 or f of 3. Now what is f of 3? f of 3 is just 3 plus 1. Change x to 3 plus 1, so you get 4. Final answer is 4. Problem number 15. We had a while ago. F minus G of negative 3. By definition, this is F of G of negative 3. Now, what is g of negative 3? g of negative 3 is simply 1 minus x squared. So, change x to negative 3 squared. That's it. 1 minus, the x here becomes negative 3, then you square it. Mm. Then that, exponentials first. Simplify this first. 1 minus negative 3 squared is... 9, 1 minus 9 is negative 8. There. So, g of negative 3 is negative 8. We substitute it here. So, we have here f of g of negative 3, which is negative 8. So, now, f of x is x plus 1. Therefore, f of negative 8 is negative 8 plus 1 or negative 7. There, I hope I was of help to you. Always remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button and the hit the bell button.
थैंक यू